Hey guys, um, welcome back to December Delight Day 7. Um, so, fun news, I finally got my violin in. I'm extremely excited about it. However, there are two little things that, um, make it sad. Can't quite play it yet, and I will explain why in this video. Um, sorry, the lighting's kind of funky. I'm trying to figure out a right way to do this because I have this other light because I want to under I want to be able to show you guys it, but I'm trying to figure out the way to get this light best suited without blinding myself. Um, so two videos before I showed you what my original violin looked like from before, and I brought it back out because it sounds like crap, but. Uh, just so you know, this is what my normal old violin looked like. Um, standard acoustic violin. Didn't know that's considered an acoustic violin. Um, not sure what brand or whatever. It was whatever my mom gave me when, <laughs> when I was lucky enough to have people who paid for my violin. Now I pay for my violin. This, however, is my new violin, which is now an electric silent violin. Ready, guys? Ooh, look how cool this is. So, um, I already attached the, um, if you remember on my other video, I told you about different portions of the violin, like this being the shoulder, uh, the, the chin, chin rest. Well, this is like your shoulder rest. So you put it like right here. So I already attached that. It came with one. Um, uh, it came with one. Well, the violin came with one, which was really nice. I liked it, and it matches really well with the violin. But I mean, look how awesome it is! It's like half of a violin. It's not even like a full violin. There's like half of it. It's crazy. So it's definitely not what you'd expect, and it's black, which I think is super cool. Um, they, it was like black, white, and you could have like blue, but I was like, but black's just so much fun. Okay. Um, it's a, in a lot of ways it is similar to just an acoustic violin because it will make noise. Hopefully you can hear that. I didn't want to play it too loud. So you can still hear it. Um, but it doesn't quite make as much noise, um, as an, acu as an acoustic violin would make, um, during a, as if you were normally playing it. Um, it came with a bow, like my other one. That, this bow is just kind of like a standard wooden bow. I'll probably use my purple one because I love it so much. Um, hold on. Also came with a cool mask because they're promoting and I'm like, cool, awesome, I'll wear it, that's great. Uh, this is the thing that you attach to the back for um, if you're plugging into like an amplifier. So you plug it in to the... I'm gonna have to figure this out. I kind of looked it up. Yeah, I <laughs> the line out one right there. So this is line out. So then you plug it into there, and then um, then you plug the other side into an amplifier and blah blah blah. Um, sorry, I just want to look at these. Um, well, there's like one other thing that I wanted to check out. There's like one whole, it's like line out, mic, and phone. So I know that like there's the headphone settings for the speak, for like for your headphones, but I'm like, I wonder which one I plugged into. And I plugged it into one and it worked. I mean, like it worked technically, but like, and it made like me like be able to hear the sound as I was like playing it on, playing my, playing the instrument, like kind of only a little bit, but, um, I won 
wonder if I was supposed to plug it into the other one. Who knows? Well, I'm going to mess around with it a little bit more. Um, but, uh, when you want to turn on the amplifier or say you have the headphones, these guys plugged in, you turn this on like this and then it becomes, um, a electric slash silent violin. Um, these headphones are like, so I was testing them out a little bit and I realized that I was only getting noise out of one of the ears and I was like, okay, well, first of all, I can't have that because I want to be able to hear on both sides. Um, and second of all, second of all, I'm not really a big fan of these types of headphones. I rather have like kind of over the ear headphones. I understand why they're doing these. They like need delicate headphones because like, hey, you, you're, you're gonna have, you're gonna be playing like this. You can't have like huge bulky headphones or anything. So it's kind of like a, like oh, what can what can I use sort of thing. So kind of have to think about that. Um, but I'm going to see if I can find some better ones for this. Because I think I might try to find better ones. Because there's some guitar ones that you can find that are kind of nice. Um, I, but because of the fact that these were broken, because they are broken, um, I, there's also one other thing that's broken. Uh, I called the manufacturer and they're just like, yeah, we'll send you new headphones. The other thing that is, oh, it's about to snap. Um, you might not be able to see it, but I can totally see it. On this violin, this string right here is a, about to snap. It's like about to snap. Like... It's hanging on by its, like, last thread of life. Um, so I was like, yeah, uh, like, it came set up pretty well, except for the fact that one of the strings is about to snap. So, um, can you get me a new string? And so they're gonna ship me a new string. The unfortunate thing is I don't know how to string a violin. I have no intentions of trying to do that because do you see that? That and that? No, no, I do not plan on doing that. So I'm gonna have to take it into a shop. Luckily, I won't have to pay for a string because um, I'll already have it. Um, hopefully by Monday or Tuesday. Um, but I will have to have somebody string it for me because I don't know how to do that and I have never done that in my life. Um, okay, good. I turned it off. I was like, did I actually turn the violin off? Okay. Um, I got a tuner, which is really good when you want to make sure you sound right. But I have to figure out if I'm using it correctly, because I think I'm not. I don't really know how it works. And then this is, <laughs> I was like, what the hell is this thing? <laughs> so, um... It actually goes here, goes like this on top of the bridge, let's write this, to kind of mute the instrument even more. So that kind of dampens the sound um, even more if you're like in a setting where you need it to be quiet. Um, right now I don't necessarily need that, so I can take that off. Um, but yes. So there's that, and then I got some rosin. You remember from last time, rosin is essential for your bow. You need rosin, believe me. You will screech across the strings if you don't have rosin. Not, up. Not good. A bow without rosin is like, like a pool stick without chalk, or like if you've ever seen gymnastics, you know how those girl, like the girls always 
put chalk on their hands before going on the bars. Yeah, it's like not having that. Yeah, you really need rosin. Um, so yeah, all that cool stuff came with this, but I can't really play with it until I get around to it. The strings are off tune right now, um, but I'll get around to fixing them and getting them in tune. Um, but I am very excited about it. I think it looks super cool. Um, I'm excited to mess around with it. I like how comfortable the shoulder rest is, and I like how it fits on my, uh, my shoulder slash arm, I guess that is. And yeah, that's like this. Um, so I'm going to put this with my December Delight videos and also my violin, my new channel about violins, uh, Violin Vibes. Um, also on Violin Vibes, I think I'm going to do a music, because I'm ha going to have to wait for this violin to uh, get started on things. I think I'm going to do a little bit of a um, how to read music sort of thing. Um, so I might do that. I might do that if, in my spare time because I think I'm going to have Monday off of work. And so maybe I'll do that. And I have two friends, my lovely Oliver Queen and also my lovely Harley Quinn who might assist me in teaching you how to learn to read music if you would like to come and um watch that video uh, under violin vibes if you're interested um so yeah i hope you enjoyed watching this video i definitely enjoyed making it and i cannot wait to be able to mess around with this yes um it's gonna be great yes just gotta wait just have to wait to get stuff in the mail so that I can take this to the shop so that I can get them to do it and just be like just get me in my pocket lid <laughs> all right bye guys